You're, one of you guys asked about uh, uh, bending wood. Yeah. Uh, what? Uh, I, I chuckle because Ed and I have been making bent laminated furniture for the last what, ten years. Uh, how about 40 years? Sure. The rockers <laughs> on the rocking chair yeah, are yeah. bent laminations. And right. yes, um, we, we don't use the steam bending or the vacuum bags. I, we primarily make a bending form. Uh, right. they're, they're not expensive to make. Some MDF, uh, maybe we'll depending on the width of your, uh, the piece, a couple, three, four pieces of um, of uh, MDF laminated together, cut it out on a bandsaw. But I actually came up with a, an Excel worksheet for the thickness of the wood versus the bending radius. I, both my experience and some information on the internet, but obviously the tighter the radius, the thinner the strip of wood has to be. Right. So um, as an example, <clears throat> I, can, I know for a fact that if you're going to do a nine inch, um, here we go, yeah, a I, nine I, inch radius, the strips have to be about 50 thousandths of an inch thick. Do you have a sanding machine? Yeah. I'm sorry, do you have yes. a, a drum sanding machine of any? I've got a drum and a uh, okay. 20 inch disc that I've Okay. Okay. Well, if you have a drum sander, you might want to make a sled for it, uh, depending on the lengths of the piece. But make a sled and put the thicker strip of wood on the sled and run it through your sanding machine. Because when you start getting down to 50 thousandths of an inch, you run the risk of running your belt up against the sand, the drum sander. Right. That's what I did with the disc sander that I made. I, I made a, uh, a carriage for it. Okay. Well, um, I'd be more than happy to uh, email you or text you the uh, Excel worksheet, but for the, is that the form for the yeah, rocker? Yeah, this, this is one form, of get, this is not a rocker, this is a, a, a back leg okay. for, for something. I don't I'll know if you this way a little more, it'll be. I don't know what happened. I would not know. This is just a, a, a form that I, uh, I come up with a back leg design that I want to do something with, and that this is it's yep. simple. And these are the pads, and you just put clamps on them. Yeah, and you then glue on your, and I guarantee you that if you use something like well, any of the, the glues nowadays, tight bond. Um, I have rocking. I've made rocking chairs for forty some odd years now, and they do not delaminate. Yeah. They will not right, come I apart. I know that, but uh, my thing isn't for the uh, rockers. I, I guess it was since seventy two or seventy three. I've been uh, fine woodwork. Yeah. That's the magazine that I've been getting ideas out of. And then I designed yeah. my own thing out of that. Uh -huh. But uh, the compound complex bends that they do. Oh, like some okay. Some of these backs of the chairs, yeah. they I, have okay. the slats that start in one direction, and it has a, uh, a bend to the back of it. Yep. I don't know uh, okay, that's do that's that. something that's different. Uh, yeah, that's um, a, a different breed of cat. Yeah. But that sounds fun to try to figure out how to do it. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm in. Steam bending. Steam bending? Steam bending. Yeah. If you go go on YouTube and look up steam bending, or go on um, Pinterest, or even yeah. Instagram. YouTube has a lot of steam bending. No, I've yeah. never done any. I don't want to make a great big box and everything for yeah. a one-up project, but I've seen guys that they'll, they'll take it out of the form and it's like a piece of rubber yeah. and you can just literally tweak it and, and clamp it and then uh, the fibers after it dries or cools. That uh, has a memory. A memory, that. yeah. yeah. Okay. But that involves a steam chamber and if you're going to, you know, um, that's your choice if you want to go down that path. But. Yeah, I might, I might kind of, what, basically how I work is if I have a concept of something that I want to make, and and I, I, I know all of the different procedures and steam bending and bent laminations and sculpting, and, and once I decide what I want to make, 
then I will use whatever skills required or learn those skills to actually uh, make the piece that I that I want to make. My I'm I'm uh, individual piece motivated. You know, I, I see something or in my my mind I draw I sketch something out that I want to make and then I go ahead and do it. Uh, and steam bending is a I, I, it's never been a big part of what I do, but I'm intrigued with it. And one day, I'm sure I will make all the stuff. And Kevin, you're going to be involved. And, I'll have to help. Uh, yeah. So, uh, just another tool in the toolbox. Yeah. See, this wouldn't be just a one-off project. Uh, the chairs that I have that I'm designing, it has a cup in yeah. the bent laminate and. It's also bent the opposite direction too. Yeah. I, I can't explain it. I would have to show you a picture of it. Okay. Yeah. And, and that seemed it's a complex bed. Yeah. Uh, Compound you, bed. I think you did a you did a stool, the Wenge stool you were just talking about. That was a bent lamination. The seat is actually a core. You, right. He, he right. bent a core and then he laminated with a pipe, some sort of Wenge. Yeah, but what was the, the substrate? It, it was bendable. It, it's a, a bending plywood. Bending plywood. You can oh, basically it's ply. It's basically plywood made with all the grain running in one direction. Right. I, I They're not overlap. That. So it, uh, people that make these big pedestal uh, round tables, they use bending plywood as right. opposed to curving it. And uh, right. yeah. Well, so this, is, this would be the slats in the chair. Yeah. That go from the the top right down to the base, right down to the floor, mm. and it's got that compound bend in it, and that's where I'm stuck figuring out how to do that. Okay. I don't know how they do it in, so, in Okay, okay. actually you bring up a really good thing for Kevin. Yeah. How can we have, you know, again, the, we only have an hour, but if you could email Kevin a, a sketch or a picture or something that you want to do and uh, uh, and then maybe in a subsequent one we can actually uh, uh, talk about it. Yeah, go I, mean, to the I mean, we're we're learning as much as you know. I yeah. mean, we're we know enough to know that we don't know everything, and, and we're interested in learning also. Because uh, uh -huh. uh, these slats are only about three eighths of an inch thick. It, it, it what, what kind of wood? Uh, this was done in maple. Yeah, three eighths maple. How wide are the strips yeah. of wood? Uh, they they start wide, about four inches wide at the top. They narrow down as it comes to the seat of the chair, and it widens back up and flares back out okay. towards the floor. Well, I can almost tell you that if you made the strips of wood thin enough, yeah, like a piece of paper, right? Okay. You can take and bend that any way you want to. It's the made the, maybe you're you ought to experiment with making the strips even forty or thirty thousandths of an inch thick, and I guarantee you you can take and do that with it. And then you could take multiples of it and just put the glue on it and then put it in some kind of a form to bend it the way you want to. to have you ever like taken the, shavings like off a hand plane? Glue? What's like that? Cold press glue that would give you more open time? Because most of the glues I use, they... Well, uh, Titebond makes an extended glue that has open time of 30 minutes. It's white. Yep. <clears throat> it, it comes, it looks just like their other glues, but it has a 30 minute open time. Uh -huh. So, again, there's more than one way to skin a cat. Um, that's true. Actually, I'm going to experiment with your your idea, and yeah. uh, uh, I'm going to I'm going to make a form with a complex bend in it, and I'm going to make a piece about maybe two two feet long, and I'll I'll show you. I hopefully I can show you that it'll work. What you want to do? See? Yeah. Now I, I make. I, I am definitely going to email. Uh, picture of chair okay. Yeah. That yeah, and we'll definitely, you know, just keep, uh, you, you can message them and, yeah. you know, for the next, this, like in two weeks maybe, yeah. you know, we'll be talking about this method and Ed, Ed can do that. We'd much rather do that than... Uh, Sand. Just, just yeah. <laughs>